Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. Students in Hillsborough County said goodbye to summer break and headed off to school Wednesday. It's rough getting up in the morning, but other than that, exciting kind of. Kids in St. John's County could probably relate. They grabbed their book bags and pencils and headed off to class Wednesday too. A change in state law meant that school start dates weren't tethered to the Labor Day holiday. Schools previously had to wait until two weeks before Labor Day to start classes. Now, not every kid is in class today. 40 school districts opted for the August 10th start, with the majority of others waiting till Monday, August 15th. Ruth Melton with the Florida School Boards Association said that August tourism had been a concern when they pitched an earlier school start date, but they wanted students to be able to finish the first semester before winter break. With a later school start date, that became impossible. So over the course of several years, most of the education-related community pushed hard to try and give us a little bit more flexibility so that school could start late enough in the summer so that students could complete their school year, but early enough to allow them to have a nice summer break before having to come in and begin the grind. Had the old law still been in place, schools wouldn't have been able to start until August 22nd this year because Labor Day falls on September 5th. Reporting in Tallahassee, I'm Matt Gelka.